All right, hello all, it is I, the Bearded Beerman, back with another beer. We've got Hen House Brewing out of Santa Rosa. Uh, I picked up this from my local uh, tap house. This is their Stoked Pale Ale. This is a single hopped pale ale with Centennial. So, uh, at time of filming, this is just about two and a half weeks old, so it should be pretty fresh. Oh, good nose. That Centennial hop comes out nice. Very pale color. It's a lot more orange on the camera, but very pale color. Nice. Great head. I love his hat. It's a very hoppy hat. Mm, get that uh, fruit notes on it. A little mango. Mm, pineapple. Well, cheers to you and cheers to Hen House. Mm. Very light on the mouthfeel. Great flavoring. Yeah, that's a really good beer. They have 5.4% alcohol. You could drink a few of these. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Light, easy drinking. I may go mow the lawn now. Well, hello all. It is I, the Bearded Beerman, back with another brew. Happy Sunday to you all. Got another beer from Traveling Tom. This is from Hen House Brewing out of Santa Rosa, California. This is Inside Job IPA. Look at the great artwork. Chicken, money, nice. This comes in at 7.1% ABV and is with Simcoe and Eldorado hops. Uh, the description on this guy is inside job is one that you couldn't pull off without first-hand knowledge of how the system works no no one just comes into and brews an IPA like this out of the blue no it had to be someone who knew where the Simcoe and Eldorado hops were Someone who knew how to dry out an IPA so it's dangerously easy drinking. But but who? Don't trust anybody. Well, let's see what it tastes like. At time of filming, this is uh, 24 days old. Ooh, good hops on the nose. Great color, beautiful head, cloudy. Mmm, some really nice uh, fruit notes. Really, that the, the just the hop aroma just pops on your nose. Citrus, almost some melons. Mmm, oh, that smells good. Well, cheers to you out there, and cheers to Hen House Brewing. Oh, and of course, cheers to Traveling Tom. Oh. Wow. So, the nose on this is just, smells like it's going to be super sweet, super juice bomb. Instead, you get a really nice, light mouth feel. Good drying out. Good, that's nice. That's a really nice IPA. Good flavor. Yeah, 
That's good. Decent amount of bittering on the finish. After you uh, have breathed in and out a few times, it's just gotten this nice drying, bitter aftertaste on the end. Mm. That's good. Well, I'm going to sit back and enjoy my pint. I hope you're all doing something fun on this Sunday. Hope you're doing well. And I hope you are drinking some amazingly good IPAs. And remember, every beer is like a good book. You've got to crack it open to find out what's inside. See you on the next one.